treasured memories captured on camera. These are the patients and their loved ones on London's first HIV ward in the early 90s, a time when little was known about the illness. Well, I first met Stephen when I was 18. He was a good person to be around who was funny, witty, sexy, catty as well. I mean, he could have a sharp tongue on him. Stephen was a patient on Broderick Ward at the height of the HIV epidemic. It opened in 1987 when there was huge stigma around HIV. He agreed to be photographed with his friend Sarah, who said the ward became a safe space for those who faced discrimination on a daily basis. I think Stephen felt safe there. Um, you, you could be open there. Everybody who was in there knew why people were in there. I think that the ward... The end of the ward came out, came here. Jean Bruton was ward's sister in the 80s and 90s and said the ward was a unique place for the patients and their families and says those in the ward were like nothing she'd ever nursed before. Effectively, they were pretty much the same age as us um, and therefore, you know, that's what hit you. So, you know, I just tried to make the ward as open and as welcoming as possible. So you know, hugging people, making sure that they, you weren't afraid of them. I think that was the other thing. Uh, and therefore, touch was really important. Yes, I, I, th I think this is one of the great photographs. You know, Gideon Mendel was given exclusive access to the ward in 93 to capture life there on camera, a responsibility he didn't take lightly. I, I like to think that these images and this work has been part of what has actually both combated the kind of stigma about, H about HIV and AIDS. Stephen would have been 60 this year and Sarah hopes these treasured images can help keep his spirit and that of the thousands of other young men who died in our memories forever. We wonder who he would be now and we think, I was talking to his sister last night um, and we are saying he would be exactly the same person with maybe a bit more Botox <laughs> and, uh, and I think that was who he was, fun and loving. Thomas McGill, BBC London.